Hello party people, Eric the Car Guy here, also known on this channel as ETCG1. Today I'd like to touch on something that I've commented on in the past, and that's that some automotive problems are actually personal problems. And what happens is, is they sometimes manifest in broken whatevers. Uh, I'm not saying that's the, that's the issue all the time, but those of you in the automotive field may know exactly the type of person that I'm talking about. Uh, they might be an aggressive driver, really hard on the brakes, really just plain old hard on their car, um, which I would say maybe they have some issues. Uh, and maybe they're trying to work out those issues through their vehicle. I just finished up shooting the full length uh, clutch video for a 2002 Ford Focus. And this is the clutch from it. And you'll notice uh, these rivets are like down as far as they go. But what you also may see, a lot of little heat cracks, like this thing got hot. Now I'm not saying that this thing being as worn out as it is, wasn't uh, having an issue and, and it had gotten pretty hot as a result of this thing slipping for as long as it has. But I have question of whether or not maybe this owner was maybe stuck one winter, something like that, and got really frustrated. And as a result, going reverse to first, something like that, it might have been the time when that clutch let go and, and started slipping initially. Um, tires, brakes, your engine, um, lack of oil changes. Uh, you, you know, busy people that, that forget about their oil changes, that need those little maintenance reminders, those kinds of things. I've always tried to be very diplomatic when talking to these customers. Uh, and, and you may know that they may be a little high strung. They may be just just know that, that they have reasons for being the way they are and it can be frustrating especially when you've gone through a lot of effort to to complete a repair and they may bring you the car back and start saying that it's your fault that kind of thing when you may know darn well that that your work has nothing to do with it and it has everything to do with how they've been treating the vehicle uh, I'm just putting this out there for discussion. I'm not saying I really have a solution other than, like I say, be very diplomatic with these customers because they can be a challenge. So, I'm um, just putting that out there. Uh, some auto repair problems are personal problems that manifest themselves in the vehicles that these people drive. People wear cars like clothes. Uh, you give me somebody's car for like 10 minutes and allow me to go through the trunk and the glove box and everything else and I can tell you a lot about that person. I've been in and out of more cars than I could count in my career and I know some of you out there are even more than me, way more, I'm sure. And, and I think you know what I'm talking about. Some of the things that I've found, whoa. I mean, everything from automatic weapons to pornographic materials, materials, not just pornography. Um, <laughs> Not to mention what your kids decide to uh, stuff wherever. <laughs> uh, and, you know, <laughs> here's one, just, just real quick uh, on a little derailment here. Uh, there was actually a TSB from Honda about uh, the radios and Honda Odysseys uh, and your dash lights and everything flickering for a little while. Uh, and there was actually a TSB on this, and it turns out since the change drawer was right underneath, the radio, what the kids were doing is they were going into the change drawer and putting the coins into the slot for the CD. And when it got in there, the coins would roll around and make contacts with the solder on the inside of the radio and basically short out your interior lights. Believe it or not, I found that on a TSB. I, I, it was actually happening to me and I looked it up and there was a TSB on that from Honda. I was, I was, actually, I was actually surprised pleasantly, especially when I got the radio out and shook it and sure enough, it was full of change. Um, the lights on the radio never came back, but my dash lights started to work again. FYI. Anyway, sometimes personal problems manifest as mechanical problems. What do you think? What are your thoughts? ETCG1, also known as Eric the Car Guy. You can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And you can check me out at my other channel, Eric the Car Guy, for repair stuff and what have you. Until next time, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Enjoy.